Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review for you. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. Don't forget guys. So today I have a review. Um, we're going to review the new-ish <laughs> uh, Hoover One Power vacuum. So I ordered this with my own money just so everyone knows. So these opinions are unpaid for. <laughs> um, they are completely 100% my own, even if they were paid for, but they're not. I'm not sponsored, but Hoover, I've given you a lot of sales, guys. So if you want to sponsor me, I'm not, I'm not going to hate you for it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I did go ahead and pick up this cordless powerhouse. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy opened up and see what's inside. And Go from there. So this is the One Power Blade Plus Cordless Vacuum Kit. It's considered a kit because it comes with the 3.0 amp hour battery. Um, I actually received this for $159.99 and then I also got the One Power Dust Chaser Cordless Handheld Vacuum for free. This vacuum is said to be a powerhouse of cord-free cleaning featuring the Dust Vault technology. It's to capture 99% of dust and fine particles with no loss of suction. Again, the kit included a 3 amp hour battery and charger. And also, the nice thing about this is that it's the one power battery. It will work with every other one power tool so the three amp hour battery will also work with this dust um, chaser that you are seeing here this handheld vacuum um, has two times more suction portable and lightweight which it is it's super lightweight guys and it came with a few attachments the attachments are specific to the handheld dust chaser um, this has dual filtration with HEPA media. media. Um, it captures 99.97% of dust, pet dander, and allergens, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how this works. I was just showing you to show you that this came with my vacuum. I also ordered an extra battery. Um, I ordered the longer lasting battery. This is the 4 amp hour battery. I just wanted something that last, would last a little bit longer than the 3 amp hours that it came with because I knew that the 3 amp hour battery just wouldn't be enough, especially on turbo mode. So, and then one last thing that I picked up is this Pro Kit. It comes with all different sorts of tools here. Um, a little bit extra on the tools than what came with the vacuum itself. So we're going to go ahead and get this battery charged so we can get to vacuuming and testing out this new vacuum. Um, I did want to go ahead and put it on the charger right away while I figure out all the attachments and all that. So I just wanted to show you that the attachments attach super easily to the handheld part of the vacuum. You just plug them in, everything just plugs in, and then you use the blue little button and it unclips super easily. Mm -hmm. 
so the vacuum does come with a wall hanger so that's what you're seeing me here trying to figure out where I wanted to place it if I wanted to sit it so the vacuum is technically touching the ground or if I wanted to sit it higher um, I really wasn't 100% sure how I wanted to go about it but I did end up placing it so it wasn't exactly sitting on the ground the vacuum that is um, it was actually really easy to install um, they have supplied the screws and wall anchors so you're seeing me put in the wall anchors here um, I, I this is the first time I've ever placed wall anchors so I really had no idea what I was doing I was just guessing off of something that or you know when I've watched Fred put wall anchors in before so I did my best um, and actually my husband was proud of me so <laughs> if you know how to do this an easier way go ahead and try that way um, I was just trying to get it hung up and you guys it's hanging and it's working out pretty good Also, I did notice on the battery here just now, actually, that it says 4.0. Um, I don't know how I got a 4.0 battery because online it does say that it's a 3.0 amp hour battery. So I don't know if everybody's will come with a 4.0 or a 3.0. Just make note of that. Alrighty, so we have the vacuum and the battery here, and it looks like literally just uh, slides right on there. Snaps into place, and I guess you just uh, turn it on. More power, less power. And this makes the brush heads roll. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So this makes the brush heads on the bottom here roll. I'll show you real quick. There they go. I'll say that this is a super lightweight vacuum in my opinion. Obviously the top of the vacuum where the motor is at is a little bit heavier but compared to my other vacuum, my other cord, uh, no I don't have a cordless, my other stick vacuum, um, this one is actually really lightweight and it makes me honestly question, I don't know why, the ability of its suction power but it did really good you guys. I I mean, for what it is, I guess it, it did more than I expected it to. You guys will see here in just a few minutes or a few seconds um, the cup where all the dirt and dust goes. I'll show you guys that to see how much it picked up. I will say that I did not vacuum for a few days because I wanted to make see how well the vacuum performed. We do have two cats four kids um, we do no longer have a dog though so I can't really say a whole lot there but see it it picked up a ton of stuff guys it, it did it, it picked up a ton of stuff so here on the hardwood it I don't feel like it did it as well. Um, if it had bigger, heavier pieces, like I found one of my husband's mints on the ground, um, one of those icebreaker mints, and it did not want to pick that, that little guy up at all. However, the rest, I mean, it did pretty good with the crumbs and stuff. Um, I did have it on its high power setting. So it did tend or seem to use a lot of battery as well. Um, there I'm just showing you 
what it picked up in the kitchen so and this floor gets swept every night but I feel like it used a lot of battery power um, for what I did and I really didn't even use it that long Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and discuss my overall thoughts. I, I like the vacuum. Um, it's a good cordless vacuum, don't get me wrong. I love Hoover as a brand. I'm just not totally sold on the vacuum though. Um, I feel like, you know, if you need something quick, um, you have a, hot, a lot of hardwood floors. I think it would be great. I loved using it on the stairs and not having a cord in the way. However, using it on as like an everyday vacuum might be okay. Um, but I would want to use my shark like aviator, aviator, avi, what is that called? I can't think of what it's called at the moment, but I have a shark rocket that is a stick vacuum that plugs in and I feel like it has a, a a whole lot more power than these uh than this cordless one however um it's a pretty good vacuum it's a decent vacuum if you have a lot of pets i'm not going to recommend it um again if you have a lot of carpet i probably wouldn't recommend it unless you're using it on the stairs um it's kind of expensive for just a stair vacuum but overall decent vacuum decent suction power i've never used another cordless before so i don't know if it's greater or not or similar uh, suction power to other cordless vacuums. Um, I do know that my corded vacuum has a lot more suction power. Um, I would prefer it over the Hoover vacuum um, if I'm trying to do a deep clean. But overall, good little vacuum. Affordable, that's for sure. It's $159. So it wasn't that terribly expensive. There's tons of um, influence, influencers out there. You can always find a code for like 10 or 15% off, I'm sure. Um, overall, good vacuum. Those are my thoughts. I don't know. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, also, let me know if there's any other items that you would like a review for or really any video ideas that you guys think that I would like to do, let me know down in the comments. So anyway, go ahead and give it this a big thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button on your way out. I appreciate every one of my subscribers. It really helps me out a ton and it's free to you to subscribe. So anyway, guys, until the next time, bye.